Spain in Our Hearts, Americans in the Spanish Civil War, 1936 to 1939, 2016, by Adam Hochschild is a highly acclaimed historical military nonfiction that delves into the Spanish Civil War, shedding light on the experiences of ordinary individuals caught in the midst of the crisis. Hochschild, a former civil rights activist and newspaper reporter who currently teaches at the Graduate School of Journalism at the University of California, offers a comprehensive overview of the conflict. The book garnered widespread recognition, earning nominations for prestigious awards and becoming a bestseller. Hochschild's expertise and reputation have been featured in renowned publications such as the New York Times and Harper's Magazine. His work stands out for its objective approach, providing an impartial account of the Spanish Civil War without assigning blame to either side. Hochschild emphasizes the significance of the Spanish Civil War, pointing out that it is often overshadowed by World War II despite its profound political implications. He argues that disregarding the memory of this conflict does a disservice to understanding its historical context. According to Hochschild, the failure of world democracies to respond to Republican Spain's pleas for aid allowed Hitler and Mussolini to swiftly seize control of the country. While he acknowledges that it is impossible to definitively prove the conjecture, Hochschild raises the provocative notion that had Spain not fallen under Hitler's influence, it might have altered the course of history by potentially preventing further invasions and averting the outbreak of the Second World War. In Spain in Our Hearts, Americans in the Spanish Civil War, 1936 to 1939, Hochschild explores the connection between the Spanish Civil War and the subsequent Second World War. He argues that Hitler and Mussolini utilized the Spanish conflict as an opportunity to test weapons that would later be employed in the larger global conflict. While Hochschild ultimately concludes that the Second World War was inevitable regardless of the events in Spain, he asserts that the Spanish Civil War could have been prevented. A significant focus of the book is the arms embargo imposed on Spain by France, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Hochschild highlights how this embargo left the Spanish Republic defenseless against the mounting pressure from Italy and Germany, who provided advanced weaponry to the nationalists. The disillusionment felt by the Spanish Republicans in response to the unsupportive attitudes in Europe and the overwhelming sense of despair within their ranks are vividly portrayed. While the book encompasses various perspectives from Americans, Hochschild's decision to emphasize American experiences is due to the unique circumstance of Americans willingly risking their lives to defend a foreign country that was not directly connected to the United States. Notably, the book predominantly features middle-class and highly educated individuals, which has drawn criticism from reviewers seeking a more diverse representation of voices. At the core of the narrative lies the idea that fascism necessitates resistance, even in the face of potential defeat. Hochschild contends that the Americans who participated in the war did so out of their vehement opposition to fascism and its underlying ideologies. While many were ardent supporters of communism, others simply couldn't fathom a world where fascism emerged victorious. Hochschild attributes the intervention of ordinary Americans, miles away from the conflict, to their passion for justice and equality. Spain in Our Hearts delves into the lives of literary figures like George Orwell and Ernest Hemingway, exploring their connection to the Spanish Civil War. Hochschild argues that the war deeply influenced Orwell's works Animal Farm and 1984, as he despised the subtle tactics employed by fascism to seize control while the world stood idly by. Through his books, Orwell delved into themes of anti-Stalinism and wartime strategies. Similarly, Hemingway's novel, For Whom the Bell Tolls, was a response to the desperate and inevitable downfall of the Spanish Republic. The horrors of the Spanish Civil War continue to reverberate through literature and storytelling. While Hochschild acknowledges that he cannot shed significant new light on the Spanish Civil War itself, he aims to bring lesser-known perspectives to the forefront. One such narrative centers around Torquild Reber, the chairman of Texaco. Reber's fascist sympathies influenced his stance on the arms embargo, leading him to unlawfully supply the nationalists with inexpensive oil and credit, ultimately contributing to their victory over the Spanish Republicans. Hochschild recognizes that such injustices, like Reber's actions, deeply undermined morale on the Republican side. Although Hochschild expresses sympathy for the Spanish Republicans, Spain in Our Hearts does not shy away from addressing the atrocities committed by them in their pursuit of their goals. 
Hotchfield concludes that the ambivalence of American, French, and British powers towards Spain's fate resulted in the Republicans making ill-considered and regrettable choices. By primarily focusing on American perspectives, Hotchfield avoids taking a definitive side in the conflict. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.